drugs to increase immunity for allergies. Since the end of the last century, allergies have turned into a global medical and social problem. According to WHO, every fifth resident of the Earth came across allergic reactions of different severity, from mild conjunctivitis to anaphylactic shock. In all cases, the immune system responds to the substances and exposure of the exogenous type. By replenishing the ranks of allergies, patients are forced to limit themselves in food, walks, visiting beauty salons, communicating with animals. They have to drink antihistamines, use anti-allergic drugs for external use. About how the work of the immune system with the development of allergies is related, why immunity is reduced, see in our video. What is immunity? This is the protection that the complex but coordinated work of the immune system provides. It is responsible for the adaptation of the body to exposure from the outside, for the preservation of antigenic equilibrium. Potentially threatening antigens, foreign agents, are exogenous, bacteria, viruses, intracellular parasites, poisons, allergens that entered the body from the external environment, and endogenous atypical cells that appeared in the body under the influence of negative factors or due to change in internal biochemical processes. The first line of protection is a natural non-specific community with which a person is born. Congenital protective forces represent antibodies obtained from the mother, as well as the lymphocytes of the skin and mucous membranes, blood proteins, neutrophils, macrophages endowed with the function of phagocytosis, capture, digestion of antigens, antigen representing cells, NK cells cytotoxic T lymphocytes that kill cellular enemies. The second line of protection is the acquired specific immunity. He is responsible for the formation of immunological memory, the ability of the system with lightning speed to respond to repeated meetings with strangers. Also, specific community regulates immunological reactivity. The mechanism of action is provided by the T lymphocytes of the cellular response, B lymphocytes of the humoral response. T lymphocytes enter the battle with antigens, and protective antibodies immunoglobulins are formed from B lymphocytes. I protect the mucous membranes, Ig and M are directed against infections, Ige, are responsible for allergic reactions. What is immunopathology? The most amazing thing is that excessive zeal of protective forces can lead to the development of immunopathologies. Immunodeficiency, extremely low immunity, primary, congenital, immunodeficiency are due to genetic defects. Secondary immunodeficiencies arise against the background of exhaustion of the body, severe intoxication, severe viral infections, HIV, cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr, herpes, hepatitis, surgical damage to the immune system. Autoimmune processes in which the production of autoantibol is launched. Pathology develops as a result of the fact that the system ceases to distinguish strangers from native cells. Immunological tolerance is the inertia of immunity to certain types of antigens, tolerogens, due to loss of the ability to identify them. If, with autoimmune disorders, the immune system is aggressive against all in a row, then with tolerance it simply ceases to react, for example, to infection, cancer cells. Another violation of immunological reactivity is allergies. This is an inadequate response of the system to the influence of the external environment, contacts with substances that are not dangerous. Causes of Allergies On the one hand, the cause of allergies is associated with an increase in potential stimuli, allergens. Immunity simply does not have time to adapt to new components of cosmetics household chemicals, as well as to change climatic conditions. On the other hand, scientists believe that sensitization, hypersensitivity, is caused by a person's desire to create sterile living conditions. A constant fight against bacteria does not allow the immune system to work in full force, and when it meets an unfamiliar substance, it brings all its protective potential on it.
In addition, a hereditary predisposition to allergic reactions has been proved. If one of the parents has developed immunopathology, then the child can inherit the damaged gene. The predisposition does not guarantee the mandatory development of allergies, but increases the risk by about 70%. Types and Types of Allergies The species classification is based on factors provocateurs. Food In most cases, hypersensitivity is provoked by animals, plant proteins contained in milk, fish, seafood, eggs, soy, nuts, wheat. Pharmacological, immunological response to medications. Among the drug antigens, antibiotics, sulfonamides, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are leading. Poltsovii, polynosis. A seasonal reaction occurs during flowering of allergenic plants, wormwood, ambrosia, poplar, swan. Symptoms are manifested by allergic rhinitis, runny nose, conjunctivitis, cough. Insect, for insect bites. The role of antigen is played by high molecular enzyme proteins, biogenic amines, peptides contained in the venoms of insects, bees, wasps, cornets, ants. Household. Includes two groups of allergens. The first is animal hair, library dust, fungi, synanthropic mites that live in house dust and bedding. The second is the components of cosmetics perfumery, household chemicals. A separate type of immune response is hypersensitivity to climatic conditions. The main symptoms are itching, dark spots, peeling of the skin. Cold sensitization is considered a pseudo-allergy, since the immune system does not react to a specific substance, but to change in body proteins under the influence of low temperatures. A similar picture is observed with photodermatitis allergies to the sun. Under the influence of ultraviolet light, photosensitizers release free radicals, which, upon contact with proteins, are converted into new substances that are foreign to the body. The classification of Gell and Coombs, 1975, includes the following reactions. Anaphylactic. Caused by the release of histamine upon contact of IGE with antigen occur in children and adults with food, pollen, drug, household hypersensitivity. Cytotoxic Caused by the formation of cytotoxic immunoglobulins that destroy their own cells. They develop in response to drugs, transfusion of incompatible blood, rhesus conflict between mother and fetus. Immunocomplex they are provoked by the formation of an excessive amount of antigen antibody complexes, which leads to damage to surrounding tissues. Similar reactions are characteristic of serum sickness, autoimmune diseases, anaplastic anemia, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus. Cell mediated. They are the response of T lymphocytes to contact with infectious agents, cancer cells. The first, Second, third types refer to an immediate immune response, the fourth, to a delayed sensitization. The relationship between immunity and allergies. IGE receptors are located in the membranes of vesicles, white blood cells. Initially, antibodies E were focused on the fight against parasites. With social development, the employment of immunoglobulins E has decreased markedly. They switch to irritants which caused an immunological disorder. Upon contact with the allergen, antibodies E differentiate its belonging to the immune system. If the agent is recognized as foreign, IGE will try to destroy it. As a result, an antigen-antibody immune complex is formed, an allergic reaction appears with the release of a large number of inflammatory mediators, histamine, interleukin-1, and other cytokines. Hypersensitivity and immunosuppression, decreased immunity, are linked. Allergic people are more susceptible to infectious diseases that weaken the body's defenses. Conversely, weakened immunity is vulnerable to the development of immunopathological reactions. Causes of reduced immunity The main symptoms of immunosuppression Chronic drowsiness, weakness, low efficiency 
frequent acute respiratory viral infections, herpetic eruptions, candidiasis of the mucous membranes of the mouth, genitals, brittle hair and nails, cracked corners of the mouth, violation of thermoregulation, an unreasonable increase in temperature, chills, indigestion, alternating constipation with diarrhea, flatulence, dull dry skin, acne, poor regeneration of the skin. In a person with chronic diseases, with a decrease in the immune status, relapses of the disease become more frequent and difficult to stop. There are exogenous and endogenous reasons for the decrease in the capabilities of protective forces. The first group includes lifestyle features. An unhealthy diet based on fast carbohydrates, an abundance of animal fats. With such nutrition, there is a deficiency of vitamins, antioxidants, minerals, which leads to the development of an immunosuppressive state. Nicotine Alcohol Addiction Permanent or periodic poisoning with toxins changes the composition of the blood. The content of erythrocytes increases, the number of defender cells, leukocytes, decreases. Physical Inactivity Lack of physical activity impairs blood circulation, disrupts thermoregulation, and the functioning of the autonomic nervous system. All this is reflected in the level of immune status. Incorrect or uncontrolled self-medication with antibiotics. Antibacterial drugs kill not only harmful organisms, but also beneficial microflora that protects the body. Wrong mode of work and rest, lack of sleep. Firstly, the body simply does not have time to recover, which is why chronic fatigue syndrome develops. Secondly, only during sleep hormones are produced, cytokines involved in immunological reactions. Endogenous causes of a decrease in the immune status are chronic pathologies and diseases transferred with complications. Metabolic disorders, diabetes mellitus, gout, blood diseases, anemia, anemia, of various origins, hemorrhagic diathesis, incapathology of internal organs, hematopoietic and lymphoid tissue, hemoblastosis, dysbiosis severe intestinal infections, intoxication, immunosuppression accompanies postoperative conditions, which are characterized by protein energy deficiency, the cause of phagocytosis dysfunction, weakening of the humoral and cellular response. How to increase immunity To restore and maintain the protective functions of the body help. Sleep normalization It is better to go to bed before midnight and wake up no later than 7 o'clock in the morning. Diet Correction It is recommended to add more vegetables, fruits, berries, fresh herbs, foods rich in iron and amino acids to the menu. Vitamin Therapy Increased attention should be paid to vitamin D, ascorbic acid. Overcoming Nicotine Addiction, Refusal of Alcoholic Beverages Regular Walks Fresh air saturates the blood, tissues, organs with oxygen. Increased physical activity. Doctors advise not to neglect daily morning exercises. In parallel, two three times a week, you should visit the pool, gym, do yoga, pilates, and fitness. Taking drugs that increase immunity. Before buying funds, it is advisable to consult a doctor. Some medicines have contraindications. You need to take care of psycho-emotional stability, to avoid conflicts, not to worry about trifles and conflicts, not to worry about trifles and conflicts.